Well, uh, I'm Patch Whiskey. I'm originally from West Virginia, and now I'm based in uh, Charleston, South Carolina. And I'm a painter, muralist, fine artist. My dad was an artist when I was a little kid. That he was drawing and painting. So he was, I remember him taking painting classes when I was like a little kid, and he was like really good at watercolors and stuff. That was one of the things that we had in common together. So like. We might be getting in fights over a bunch of things, but what we what brought us together was um, art. It was just something that I kept doing over the years and uh, kept getting better at it, I guess. I took like four or five canvases, you know? And I'll just kind of stretch them out in the yard or in the studio or wherever I'm at painting and uh, just express myself with, with colors and techniques and stuff. And I'm, I'm shooting from the hip most of the time, you know? Like, I'm assuming they come from these things that that I loved when I was a kid, and it was Bugs Bunny and Yosemite Sam and the Wild Bunch. It comes from just living, and and just textures that you see that could be anywhere, and and the architecture and the skies. I try to to gather it up from a, a lot of different elements and a lot of different people and things, and I kind of just stir it up in a big pot and I pour it out and see what I can make out of it. The uh, the beagle, we call him the illegal beagle because. He was born on the streets. He wasn't commissioned by the city, you know? <laughs> um, I just found an abandoned building and, and I threw him up and the, he, be, he became, he existed um, just in a couple hours in an abandoned building or whatever. So he was my little dude um, that got into the mischief. I don't steal these signs, right? I'm not like pulling them up out of the ground and, and throwing them in my van, like, you know, cause that's illegal. And I don't do illegal stuff, right? Once I started doing a couple, people sent them to me from across the country. They just, they have them, you know, they've been in, in the garage for years. And so there's like a lot of different ways that I'm getting these signs right now. I think there's an obsession with looking at walls you know once you start painting them and then that's all you want to paint and then you start looking at which ones that look good and then you start looking at ooh, that, that baby's real smooth I like spray paint because it's fast you know it's real real satisfying man to just go up to a wall and, and spray it and like if you mess up you can spray right over it ideas can come out of my head like a lot faster with spray paint and I can like I could paint this whole building by the time it takes me to paint like a, a smaller canvas. I mean, people think like you're born with this gift and it's, it's like, oh, well, I, you know, God didn't bless me with this and I wasn't born with, you know, I can't even draw a stick figure. And uh, I remember when I couldn't draw a stick figure. If you want it to work, it can work out. You just gotta spend your life doing it. You gotta spend the time in it, you know, thousands and thousands of hours. Um, there's gonna be times where people's gonna tell you to, that you shouldn't be doing that, and like you gotta be doing something else, and like and you gotta just not listen to them. You gotta be hard-headed and stubborn, and you gotta keep your head down, and you just gotta keep doing it. My strong features of my personality is I'm stubborn, so I didn't listen. I still don't listen. <laughs> never. I never trust myself. Like, like I don't know if it looks good or not. And I look at it, and I'm like, ah, I don't know. I don't. And the things that I don't like about it, I don't even know if people's gonna see it or not. There's a lot of stuff that I don't like about my work that I need to get better at. In our work, we gotta always try to get, you know, take it to the next level. And, and that's that whole process where we don't feel like, oh, this is the best. You know, we know that it's hitting in spots, but there's spots where it's lacking too. The most difficult thing about being an artist, I think, is maybe um, selling your art, maybe getting it out there to the right people. You know, it's a tough gig, man. Um, making it's the easiest, but selling it is not the funnest. I think pricing it's the worst. At, at one end, you're wanting to sell it for nothing just to get some money in your pocket, and then the, the other end, it took you a long time to do, and it's the only one that exists in the world, so some kind of value for that, right? While I'm in the process of creating, it's kind of like my therapy. All of my stuff is based around emotions, first and foremost. 
I, I just imagine everything having like a soul, everything having a personality. I'll give them eyes so they can see, and I'll give them mouths so they can speak. It's almost magical to bring something into this world that didn't exist before. I can't even explain like why I wake up every day and just paint, like, I just paint. It's a passion, it's an obsession, it's a, you know, I don't know how to stop, I can't stop. It's like a, it's like one of my ticks. You know, if I wasn't painting, what would I be doing? It's like, probably that's something that I shouldn't be doing, probably. You know, it keeps me out of trouble for the most part. I use it to my advantage, whatever it is. <laughs> I feel like I'm on that steady climb. I'm climbing that big mountain, man. I picked a big juicy mountain. I'm climbing that baby, you know? <laughs> it's a good climb right now, you know? I've kind of hit some summits and, uh, and we're climbing some, to the next plateau and stuff. And I, I look up in the air and there's still a lot of mountain to climb, you know? But I look down and and I've come a long way.